Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the adventures of Lex, Emperor of Carpathia. I'm just looking at the factions. There are no really big big factions right now. There's an independence faction, but they're only about 10% strong. Not a big deal. We're in the middle of fighting a war against this jerk-off that controls these areas. In these areas... What, what happened? Oh, everything froze there for a moment. Um... And the reason we're fighting a war against him is because he's a jerk. It's because he wanted... What did he want? He wanted, um, I think it was... Oh, he wanted to change the crown authority in Germany. And we were like, that's not going to happen. And this war has lasted long enough that everybody else in Germany is like, never mind, we don't want the crown authority changed. But for unfortunately for this jerk-off, because he was such a jerk-off... <laughs> Well, he's going to lose almost everything. He might save a barony. He might save a castle or something for himself. But All right, we're attacking. We're the guys on top. We crossed a river. Well, those are actually our vassals' troops. Unfortunately, we don't have any good leaders of that unit. You've got some leaders here. Let's put some good leaders here. So that when you show up as reinforcements... You have some good guys to take over. If we win this battle, we should win this war. We're already at 36 war score in our favor. Uh, the only negative was that they sieged this area, because I didn't even realize they had an army here. I thought their army was over in Ireland, because uh, some of our vassals are attacking the Teutonic Knights here to try and take this territory, and they are losing terribly bad to the Teutonic Knights, because the Teutonic Knights have like 23,000 troops. And this is a Fraticelli uprising happening in the Holy Roman Empire. I wish they would win, but I'm pretty sure the Holy Roman Empire is going to crush that. Those Catholics, they refuse to go quietly into the night. Come on, dude, we're just trying to destroy your religion. What's all bad with that? <laughs> all right, rebels, it's time for you to die. You're not cool like the Star Wars rebels or the American Revolution rebels. That didn't end the war. That pisses me off. <laughs> Alright, bros, go up there and siege Danzig some more. Still got a temple to take and some stuff. Might as well speed things up a little bit. Hi, Chief... Oh, this old man stole this title from the kid. Does that make you proud of yourself, old motherfucker with a porno stash? Yes, I have more now. Stealing a duchy from a kid. How old is your wife? Was she your daughter? She's like half your age, bro. Maybe I shouldn't judge. Maybe if I ever lived to 68, maybe I'd be like, I'll do it with someone half my age. Why not? I'm going to die soon anyway and go see Tangra Jesus. <laughs> Jesus would be like, that's two different religions, bro. I get confused easily. <laughs> the goose did not die on the cross for you. But they're delicious. Um, Radoslav of somewhere has declared a peasant revolt. Don't care. I'm really, I really don't care. That's what Emperor Lex says. Not my problem. But they're like, Sir, I don't even care where it is, man. No problem. What the hell is going on in England? Let's see. They've got a peasant revolt for Suffolk and a peasant revolt for Somerset. King of England. Wait, was I looking at Wales? No, there we go. King of England is getting stronger, though. He's got almost 10,000 troops. I wonder if we should do something about that. The Greek populace in Constantinople have embraced Bulgarian culture? Civilized peasants, oh dear! I... that's awesome. So even though the Greeks, who in real life have had a very influential culture when it comes to humanity, they've realized the best culture is actually Bulgarian culture. Culture, because we have the best and biggest Bulgaria. I'm guessing because of this area here? Or maybe it's Constantinople? Constantinople is like, nope, we're Bulgarian. That is awesome. We're that influ influential. I can't fucking believe it. Kick ass. Well, we are the best culture. What can I say? It's a long line of Bulgarians now. Lex is descended from Dan, Dan the Potato Man, if you go back far enough. I bet Dan would never have expected this empire would have gotten so big. 
I think he started from here oh so many centuries ago. Anywhere else need to be upgraded? I think we have everything pretty busy with that. We're in an odd situation where we actually have a fair amount of money. Yeah, everywhere is basically busy upgrading. Yep, Constantinople is Bulgarian. Outstanding. Holy crap! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened to the Byzantine Empire? Oh my god, the Caliphate just ate most of them up! Holy shit! You are the last Byzantine Empire! Emperor, well they might end up being another one. What would it take to usurp the Byzantine Empire? Oh, we can't. Look how... S oh, I don't know if anyone's going to be able to. The Byzantine Empire might be able to keep his crown just due to the fact that we own a bunch of the Byzantine Empire's de jure territory and the Caliphate owns a bunch. I don't think either one of us owns enough and hopefully we don't go fight each other. The Caliphate is a lot more our neighbor now. <laughs> um, okay... He's got almost 100,000 troops at his command? We have not had a big neighbor that could be a threat in a long time. He might actually be able to call up oh, almost as many troops as us. On a good day, maybe more. Well, I knew the Byzantine Empire was shrinking. I didn't think it was going to shrink that much. That's crazy. How many troops does the Byzantine Empire have left? 8,000? After this war... We might try and expand our nation a bit. Pick off a few more of these Byzantines that are left. Oh, we're winning the war against the rebels wherever they are. We're about to finish sieging this castle. Come on, old man, just surrender! You're a giant pain in the ass! Victory! Victory! 89%? I cannot believe how difficult these guys are and they're refusing to surrender. This should go pretty fast. Yeah, negative 17... Oh, 15.1. Sometimes I just yell out numbers. Number 500Q! Um, every 12 days. What's that going to be, like two months or something? No, actually, less than that. The peasant revolt has ended! Emperor Lex is like, I did such a good job! And whichever of his vassals crushed the revolt is like, what? I did it! I'm great at crushing revolts, honey! Yes, you are. He gets plus two to stewardship because he's a traitor. How's this war going for these guys? Well, it looks like the Teutonic Order is going to win. It's 70% in their favor. They're getting the crap out of our vassals. Our vassals probably aren't used to riding boats to wars. Let's hope the Caliphate doesn't come in our direction now. It has been nice not to be challenged for quite some time, and the Byzantine Empire was the buffer, even as they weakened... They were still a buffer between us and the Caliphate. And we were good friends with the Caliphate. In fact, um, let's go talk to him. Where's the Caliph? Caliph Hafiz. Um, he kind of likes us. He's charitable and we're greedy, though. That's all right. We're going to send... Uh, is that a Chancellor? We're going to send our Chancellor to Damascus. The... Who are you? You're the king of Serbia? Yeah, don't get killed, dude. To kiss up to the head of the caliphate. Come on, we gotta be pretty close to ended... Having ended the stupid war that is taking forever for one little guy who's out of control. Victory in the Siege of Danzig! Finally! You are a son of a bitch! I hate you, you old fuck. 
We're going to demand you surrender. The war against the tyranny of Emperor Lex the Sword of Tingri has ended. Emperor Sword Lex is one. We're going to tell all of our troops to go home. And then, where are you, old man? Let's see. You own the county of Schwaben. You own whatever this is, this little barony. And then you own two duchies. So what we're going to do, first of all, is take away the county. Because everyone's going to be okay with that. Nobody's going to be mad. Well, he'll be mad. But none of the other vassals will be mad because he fought a war against us. Now, if we did it in a different order and did a duchy first and then the county, then they would be mad. So we take away the county. And now we're going to revoke his duchies. He is blood family. Um, so it's probably not worth executing him. He hates us. That's hilarious. And now we're going to take this area and we're going to give it to somebody. I don't even give who, care who. We're just going to grab somebody. Let's see. We want somebody who is our religion, our culture, somebody who is male because they want to be able to inherit it, and then somebody who is family. You hate us. We give it to our son. Yeah, let's give it to Lex. Little Lex? No, I'm not giving it to Lex. Ten years old. That's too young. What about little Bozidar? He's still ten, but he's not our kid. <laughs> so, alright, we're gonna grant... What the hell is this area? Something Ben? I will grant you, child, the title county of... Schwaben. Your dick. And any lower titles... And then, you know what, kid? How would you like to be um, a high chief? <laughs> yeah, you can be the high chief of um, Swabia. Go for it, kid. He was like, oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, no problem. You have fun with that. And then, uh, hey, other kid, how would you like to be the, uh, what is it, the high chief of, what is this? Pomerania. He loves it. There we are. We're making some friends who are going to last for a long time. Do we have anything else we don't need? County of Dork Sylvania? I think we're okay. We ended up having a few more vassals than I wanted and all that. Do we need to transfer any vassalage? I don't think so. Yeah, you guys should all be reporting to that kid now. Yeah, and up here they will be. Okay, sweet. That war took long enough. Man, we got a bunch of money saved up. You know what, though? Wars are fun. Not so much, I guess. But we got to take advantage of this. Like, the Byzantine Emperor, Empire just got crapped on. So let us attack them. They must be weak. We'll declare war on them. It might still be a little bit of a war. We want... I should have looked up the name of that area. Croatia. No. Dalmatia. That's what we want, because we want all the cool dogs for our fire departments. And let us ask uh, the lords of the sky if they want to come fight with us. Maybe? What the hell's wrong with you idiots? While we're at it, you know what? We're going to raise the Holy Order. We'll hire the Holy Order. We'll send them into the war. And then we're going to raise up the rest of our troops. By that, I mean the troops from the vassals. Our guys ain't going. Uh, you can stay home. You can stay home. You can stay home. And you can stay home. Now, we may still need to do something with them. Now, uh, we'll send these guys down here, too. And then we'll let these guys go home in England and Ireland. They never end up having to fight wars there. Not not wars that we start, at least. And then all you people up here in the Nordic countries. Oh, what the fuck? You guys can come to... Holy shit. Whose army was that? Get out of my face. The king of Georgia? The king of Russ, who's also the king of Georgia now, has got a monster army. A lot of his guys are going to die on the way due to attrition. 
and I'm okay with that. Oh my word, it's hard to find everybody. Oops, I was sending some of those guys to the wrong area. I do not want to send them where our retinue is and get them killed. King Akiva! Are you not even sending troops, dude? Fine, don't send any troops. I didn't need your troops anyway. Mm. That's alright. We'll just fight a war and win and get a bunch of spoils and not share them with you. I'm okay with not sharing. That's my girl name. Not sharing. More like Lex. We do have to watch a little bit, though. Hopefully not to get too weak now that we have the giant caliphate at our door. To war, my friends! To war! Uh, you guys hold up. Yeah, one of our armies went in there a little early. No. As I say, yeah, one of our armies went in there a little prematurely. Come on, holy warrior. Order. Holy warriors? Yeah, just run right through there. No, no, no. Go this way. Shit. Just start sending guys in there, apparently. And we'll just start sending these guys in. It was a little piecemeal, not the best plan, but it's alright. Who are you? Are you an independent dude? Oh, you're just some independent Sunni Muslim dude. He does not like us. My liege, my mission to Damascus has so far been a success! During my visit to the court of Caliph Hafiz II, I have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you are. He sends his regards. Oh, the Caliph, he's such a nice guy. He's got a bunch of wives, too. He probably thinks we're a slut. Why don't you make them honest women and marry them? Fuck that shit! <laughs> yeah, that ain't how we do it here. The war is on! Um, bring some more guys in there. Hopefully we have reinforcements on the way. I believe we do. Uh, we don't have any good commanders in there, but whatever. I trust the Caliphate. I think we fought one war against a Muslim nation, and that was because the Tangri High Priest called it as a holy war. It wasn't because any of the Muslim nations attacked us. They would probably just be glad that they were no real, real life. I don't think there were... I'm trying to think. Has, was there one crusade in this game? There might have been one to the Holy Lands by the Catholics, maybe? Because most of the other Crusades have been the Catholics attacking us, or more recently France. The Marshal High Chief Cogicelli told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief they would improve the military. All right, we'll pay for it. The technology spread rate of the military will increase by 100%. It'll cost us about 175 gold, but I trust that man, whoever he is. Anybody could have walked in there. I'm the marshal. I need money. All right, Barney Fife, here you go. Why'd you call him Barney Fife? He plays a Fife. <laughs> She's like, I'm either too young or too old to understand any of that. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, yeah, we're kicking the crap out of this Byzantine army. Lex, your ancestors would be proud. It is the other rite of passage. We have fought a war against the Holy Roman Empire, Lex has, and now one against the Byzantines. What's up, Byzantine Empire? 12,000 troops. Oh, that might be something to worry about. I don't know where the hell those 12,000 are. They might be in the east. There they are. Yeah, go ahead and march across our land and die. I'm all for that. It's funny, the Byzantine Empire is going to end up over here by the Black Sea. Hey, this is Prince Caspian Sea. I love that book. It was written by the, the sea there. 
If C.S. Lewis was alive, he... See, that's what C.S. stood for. Caspian C in C.S. Lewis. Mm-hmm. He also wrote that sexy book about demons, The Screw Tape Letters. <laughs> I don't know how many of you are even going to know what that is. And the few of you who do are going to be like, that's not what it was about. All right, let's move a group here. Um, we got too many troops. We did not learn the lesson of Gideon. To leave Bibles in people's hotel rooms and not to bring too many troops. Especially people who don't know how to drink water properly out of a, what is it, a lake or a pond or a river. Phoenix. Well, everybody, it's that time again, unfortunately. That's the end of our little episode with the Emperor Lex the Sword of Tangri, who's 29. For a guy who's got really bad traits to start with, he's greedy, wrathful, content, and lustful, underhanded rogue, he's having a very, very successful empire time reign. That's the word. When it falls from the sky. Oh, pfft. what a good reign. I'll see you all next time.